Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now I thought to myself, you know what? I need a little bit more stress in my life. Let's make an After Effects tutorial. <laughs> so today I'm going to show you how to export out the Blender camera and how to export out a null into After Effects. And I also want to show you one of the issues that I've ran into. Now it's pretty easy to do. All you need to do is grab this script from the interwebs. I'll put the link in the description down below and it's called IO Export After Effects. Take a look at some of the other scripts in this link. Uh, they're actually pretty cool to be honest. Uh, some of them might come in handy. But anyway, back back on point here. So all you do is install the add-on like any other add-on. And when you go to File Export, you can see here we now have Adobe After Effects. We can export out this data. So obviously we're concerned about a camera, but I'm going to quickly create a null for the scene. And I want to explain the issue that I've run into. Now, if you don't have baked data, so for example, I've obviously got rigid bodies playing in the background, this is baked, you won't have an issue. But if you parent something that has dynamics baked, the position seems to get a little bit screwed up. Now, I've tried it always, maybe you have a solution. If you do, please let me know in the comments down below. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly go back to the start of the scene. I'm going to add in an empty. We can use this as a reference point. Uh, just make it a cube, for example. And keep in mind to give this a naming convention. It actually takes us into After Effects, so it makes your scene a little bit tidy. So we'll just call this Tidy Now. And I'm going to paint this to the second object. Now, I'm going to just hit Control P and I'm just going to keep Transform. And what I can do here is I can just move this roughly into position. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, he's already screwed this up, why are you doing this? Trust me, I've tried it with adding constraints to the object, I've tried several things, it only seems to be with baked data you run into this issue. Anything else, perfectly fine. Uh, so, we've got a kind of rough estimate to where our object is. So, with that selected, the null selected, and we'll select the camera, because these are the two things that we want to export. We can then go to File. Export Adobe After Effects. Now you can see here I've been messing about quite a lot today. So I'm going to call this Test 3. And then I'm going to quickly jump into After Effects. Now if you're wondering, why the fuck are you recording this video in this horrible resolution? It's because After Effects is a complete dick. And it won't let me change the monitor for some reason. But anyway, let's go to File. Let's go to Scripts. And let's run the script. And you can see here Test 3. And what this do, it'll set up a comp. And it'll import the data for us. And we're ready to rock and roll, so I'll just call this test. We can jump into the cob here, and there we go, there's our null. And this is where you'll start to see the slip happening. And this comes from the baked data. See the way the null quickly jumps up? But anyway, I'll show you how to attach this. What we can do is we can quickly add in a text object. We'll just call this Big Balls. We'll make it a 3D object. And because we're in a 3D scene, it'll actually get placed off because the camera's been moved. So let's just quickly move the text into the scene. Let's fix it. And there we go. So you're probably thinking, yes, job done. Let's just quickly paint this to the null. Because we painted the null inside the Blender, we actually have the rotation data as well, which might not necessarily be what you're looking for. So a quick tip here is, if we open up the null, we can go to the transform data and we can use the position and what we can do is we can right click and we can separate the dimensions of this and we can do the exact same for the text object so again position separate dimensions let's unpaint this so we're nice and tidy and you can just quick pick the x position z position anything that you want to be honest there uh, or anything that you want to kind of track and that's one very quick way so we have something like this and then when we play it our object should stay attached to the scene and that's pretty much how you export data from blender to after effects kind of long way for a shortcut there but i did want to explain if you're using baked bullet dynamics it could cause an issue for your null position do me a favor guys like your video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already take care of yourself